before the Mass. Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect. Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass, stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, as we celebrate the Eucharist, uh, we remember uh, St. Dominic, the founder of uh, the Dominicans, the Order of Preachers, and we pray for 
uh, all the members of the Dominican family uh, all over the world, and especially uh, Father Gerard Timoner, also the master of the Dominicans now stationed in Rome. Uh, we ask also that uh, he may be guided in leading um, the congregation, especially in serving the church. To prepare then for our Mass, we pause for a few moments. We once again recognize our failures, our sinfulness, and we ask for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May Saint Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord, and may he who was an outstanding preacher of your truth be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. Are you not from eternity, O Lord, my holy God, immortal? O Lord, you have marked him for judgment. O rock, you have readied him for punishment. Too pure are your eyes to look upon evil. In the sight of misery, you cannot endure. Why then do you gaze on the faithless in silence while the wicked man devours one more just than himself? You have made man like the fish of the sea, like creeping things without a ruler. He brings them all up with his hook. He holds them away with his net. He gathers them in his sin, and so he rejoices and exalts. Therefore, he sacrifices to his net and burns incense to his sin. For thanks to them, this portion is generous and his repast some to us. Shall he then keep on brandishing his word to his lay peoples without mercy? I will stand at my guard post and station myself upon the rampart and keep watch to see what he will say to me and what answer he will give to my complaint. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily. For the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and will not disappoint. If it delays, Wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. The rash man has no integrity, but the just man, because of his faith, shall live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. You forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. The Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. You forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of distress. They trust in you who cherish your name, for you forsake. For you forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. You forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations his deeds. For the avenger of blood has remembered. He has not forgotten the cry of the poor. You forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. A 
Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him, and said, Lord, have pity on my son who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him and the demon came out of him. And from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen, I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading is uh, from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. And um, like uh, yesterday, uh, the uh, first reading from the book of the prophet Nahum, um, we will see that little is known of these uh, prophets. No? Uh, they are called the minor prophets. In the Old Testament, there are major prophets and minor prophets. No? Uh, and... Um, um, just for a little bit of understanding, um, one way to determine if you are a major or minor prophet is the length of the book no, in the Bible. No? So, ibig pong sabihin, itong kinanahom, kinahaba, o kung maiiksi po ito, compared to the other major prophets like Isaiah, Ezekiel, uh, Jeremiah, they are called major prophet because major prophets because of the... Uh, the lengthy discourse in the in their books, no, um, and you will observe what is unique here in the first reading is that uh, unlike let's say Jeremiah or let's say Isaiah prophesying to a people uh, who are in uh, a banishment, in suffering, in exile, this prophecy seems to be dialogal. Para nakikipag-usap si Habakkuk kay Lord. At, you know, uh, it is like uh, some uh, sort of expression of lamentation, para mga panaghoy ba, no? Uh, and uh, if you want to understand more uh, of uh, this style, you could go back to the book of Job, no? Because there you will also see this dialogal approach, no? Where uh, Job expresses, no, his, his own uh, lamentations to God given his suffering, so in our first reading, uh, what Habakkuk was trying to sort of tell the Lord is, why are you allowing uh, the wicked to flourish? No? Uh, why does it seem that those who are filled with faith are the ones suffering? And he was referring to the people of Israel. No? And uh, uh, in a way, the, the expression and the dialogue also end, uh, ends up in the realization that... Um, after all is said and done, no, uh, um, God is actually there and uh, uh, He doesn't ignore uh, what the wicked is doing. The wicked will be punished. And He does ig ignore also the suffering of, let's say, the innocent or those who have been punished like the people of Israel because of their sins because His mercy will abound, no? Uh, in a way, if you try to look at this uh, uh, first reading, uh, it is also related to our responsorial psalm, no? like the psalmist expressing, 
you forsake not those who seek you, O Lord. No? So the Lord never abandons uh, the people no, He loves, no? and even those who are suffering. In our gospel, you will see the same tone. Who is the one suffering? This man, and he was kneeling before Jesus. He knelt before Jesus because uh, his son no, was... Uh, 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 a lunatic and was suffering severely. So parang desperado na rin siya. Sabi niya, paano na ito, Lord? No? E tapos, ang nangyari nga, ang kwento, yung mga disciples, ang unang pinuntahan, pero wala naman silang magawa. Kaya pumunta na sila kay Lord, kay Jesus, parang sinabi, no? uh, uh, hindi ito magawa, hindi ito magamot, hindi masolusyonan ng mga disciples mo, e eh, ikaw na lang. And you know, uh, the Lord was able to uh, do the miracle, but you know there was a sigh. No, the sigh is, uh, oh faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure? Para sa sabi, don't you not believe that since I am here, things will get better. No? And then in the narrative, as we go along. After the healing miracle, the disciples no, asked the Lord, Lord, why could not we cure? Why were, not, why were we not able to cure uh, this, this man, this person? No? Uh, and the Lord said, because of your little faith. No? Sabi nga niya, the, the image, if your faith was just even small, like a mustard seed, no? believe me, no? it can move mountains. Look at our readings and it speaks to us, brothers and sisters. No? Uh, we have our own lamentations, our cries given this pandemic, our personal situation, our trials, our problems. No? Uh, and perhaps like this man, we have been desperate. Perhaps like Habakkuk wrestling with the Lord, expressing uh, his sentiments there are many questions but there's only one message of Jesus for us today have faith and true enough we are face to face with a situation when we seem to be a faithless generation tayo nagdadasal naman kahit sa misa mis, nagbimisa online no Kami rin tayong ginagawa, pero parang hindi matapos-tapos, no? Yung nakikita nating problema sa pandemya, yung dinadaanan pong mga problema natin, samot-samot din sa personal na buhay at pati sa ating mga pamilya. But there's only one thing that the Lord tells us today. Just your faith as little, as small as a master seed. Believe me, it will move mountains. This is the message of Jesus. Can we have that faith? In prayer, we now approach God the Father who has power and authority over all things. Let our response be, Eternal Father, let us walk by faith. Eternal Father, let us walk by faith. That a church and her people may be strengthened in their faith and rely on the Lord in trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, let us walk by your faith. That the hearts of world leaders may not be hardened and influenced by the evil of selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, let us walk in your faith. That hardened sinners may return to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, let us walk in your faith. That those who find life burdensome through illness may see meaning in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, let us walk in your faith. That the faithful departed, especially Norma Reyes, may be brought safely home to the house of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, let, let us walk by, by your faith. faith. Father, all-powerful, 
We place before you our needs and pray confidently for your help and mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray now, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer you, O Lord, by the intercession of St. Dominic and through the great power of this sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace, those who champion the faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Dominic, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Isana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bear to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, my unworthy and sinful bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Dominic, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, deliver. but deliver us. Well. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we all is free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be, peace with, you. be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. To those who are watching, please join us in praying the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of Saint Dominic. And may your church have flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a little announcement. Uh, this coming Monday, August 10, up to Saturday, August uh, 15, uh, we will be having an FB online retreat for seminarians, religious, and consecrated persons. But everyone, also even lay people, are invited. It will be uh, uh, from Monday to Saturday next week at 11 uh, a.m., which is the recollection retreat talk followed by the Mass, the usual 12 noon Mass. We invite you uh, 
uh, to patronize and uh, be enriched by our Spirituality in Daily Life series Hashtag Pintig Pag-asa offered by the Diocese of Pasig. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.